All right, last episode was a pretty big episode where my predictions more or less came true and that Dazzle is now dead. And it looks like our friend is, uh, I can't believe I blinked on his name. It always happens midway through a sentence, but uh, the other wind guy that has whip attacks is absolutely being poised to be our new wind party member, showing, as shown by him picking up that hat. It's getting late, maybe we should rest up. Let's explore longer. I just thought I would... Uh, there was a star down there, so I thought that was one of the characters I should check in on, but apparently... Weird. Apparently you go to the front gate to rest at the inn, even though the inn is over there. Weird trigger. Alright. Well... Start with McLeo, our oldest friend out of this group. Dezel's death, his shameful acts, and the thing Simone said. Perhaps they're all things the Shepherd has to accept in order to quell the Lord of Calamity. I'm just not sure how to feel about it all. I was thinking you should quit. What? Just hear me out. I used to think that when the Shepherd was getting crushed and overwhelmed by his duty or by his destiny, that it was something that you could just up and quit. Until yesterday, that is. Things are different now. For Dezel's sake, if nothing else, I want to find the answers. That's right. It isn't even some feeling of obligation so much as... I just want to know, in the hope that we won't make the same mistakes again. So that's why I no longer think you should quit. We definitely have to find some answers. Right. And it isn't just the Shepherd's duty either. This journey is something we, all of us, need to own. That's true. Thank you. There's no need for thanks. I just said how I truly feel. They feel bolstered now. Let's keep going. Our journey to find our answers is not over yet. Who's upstairs over here? Hello, nope. Who's over here? That just make oh, it's just Mikleo's faded star. Okay. Well, someone's hanging out way down here. All those boxes mysteriously vanished that were here just a moment ago. <laughs> it's funny, if they're gonna let them just reappear and vanish like that, you think they would set them up earlier too to make me not wander the whole area when I, when the scene hadn't triggered yet. Oh well. No, oh, that's an item I can pick up. Our friend, the creepy little girl. She said she was burdened with sins. Right. And she also said that the Shepherd must know the truth of Seraphim, who carries such sorrowful burdens. Of those whose mere existence means human suffering. Sometimes death can be a release. If just by living, one causes terrible things to happen, then death would be... Edna! Stop right there! I'm not talking about Dazzl, you idiot. You shouldn't be saying that about your brother, either! So what if I did? They're just words. It's probably nothing you haven't heard before anyway. I still don't like it. I don't want to hear it right now. Oh. Then there's nothing to discuss. Yeah. Saray. All I was really trying to say is that I think Dazzle was saved in a way. I chose my words poorly, and it was wrong of me. I apologize. Thank you, Edna. Don't mention it. Sir Ray really comes across as quite fragile in that exchange, doesn't he? Like, he, he, he needs an apology for the fact that Edna was talking about killing her own brother. Like, that's... It's a little backwards. It's her brother. Like, she's the one that has to deal with it more than he does at this point. And she has a point. He's turned into a horrible monster that- and they claim that he can never recover from that, so he's just gonna keep attacking people. But Serene needs his feelings protected, apparently. Lila! What are you doing? Oh, this? That's incredible! How'd you do that? Making paper crafts like this really takes the edge off for me. 
I forget about all my cares, and it's like I just enter my own little world. I see. Saray, you've got to stop carrying the burden all by yourself. I think this one's gonna be tough, even if I share the burden. I find myself wondering, was there anything else I could have done? Should we have talked it over first? I just start thinking about things. Moments of reflection are good for the spirit, Saray, but regrets solve nothing. What's this? Humans have a custom. Sometimes they send a paper boat down a river imbued with a remembrance of their lost one so that it may reach them. Since Dezel was a wind seraph, I thought maybe a bird that soars through the air would be more fitting. Now, Saray, let's send it off. I'm sure it reached him. Lila. Yes? Thank you. But you mustn't try to carry the burden all by yourself either. I'll be quite fine. There's no need to worry. I'm going to stay up here for a while. The wind feels comforting. All right then. I'll leave you to it. Okay. I too have a ways to go. That was touching. We kind of had our little Dezel funeral right there. Where is Rose, actually? Please, let me stay here for just a while longer. She wants to be alone for the moment. Yeah, I don't know if I saw Rose. There's one star at the front gate and one star at the, uh, at the inn. But weirdly, if you go to the gate, it tells you about the inn again. A single night is far too short to sort out all of that I feel. That's a surprisingly emotional thing to hear, Edna say. Can I go this way? Maybe Rose is out by, like, that place where you look, oh, yep. Yeah. There's two people over here. Oh, right. Right. Hey, Shepard. Tell me something. How was Dezel in his last moments? He was smiling. So, he was, was he? I guess he got his wish after all. Zavid? You knew Dezel, didn't you? Sort of. There was a time my comrades and I saved him, when he was just a little rascal. Oh. Is that why your fighting styles are so similar? Yep. He learned by copying me. And yet, I don't think he even remembered who I was. That fellow tossed everything away, even his memories. Hmm. <laughs> but if something gets thrown away, you just gotta find it again. And you found it for him, didn't you? Hey, are you trying to comfort me, Zavid? You bet I am. You're gonna be my all-important vessel pretty soon. Can't have you getting all malevolent on me. Huh? And on that note, I think I'll go talk to Lila about that Sublord Pact. You gotta be kidding me! Well, I can't exterminate the Hellions all by myself anymore, can I? And besides, if I tag along with you, I can collect your debt to me whenever I like. You can't just decide something like that! Oops, I did. Anyway, see you tomorrow, Sheps. That lousy... Alright, predictions fulfilled. Yep, he's absolutely here to replace... Dezel. Zavid. I keep mixing his name up thinking that that's the name of the bad guy. Huh? Back there, I spoke with Dezel during his last moments. And when I saw him then, I remembered something that I'd forgotten long ago. I had met him before, when I was really little. I realized he'd probably been protecting me ever since, my whole life. Rose, Dezel didn't want you to know that. 
He said he wanted you to live believing you'd come this far by your strength alone. Yeah, I'm sure that's what he wanted. But I actually wish he'd just straight up told me, without knowing I was a jerk, self-absorbed and totally ungrateful to him. Sorry. From now on, you gotta tell me these things, alright? Right. This is actually a load off my mind. I was worried you'd be, you know, devastated. Yeah, I don't know. A whole lot of things happened all at once. And somehow it doesn't feel like I'll never see him again. And the garbage that crazy Simone chick was spouting? I think it says more about her problems than anything else. Rose, you're my hero. Oh, I just don't like to think too much. <laughs> anyway, Saray, you get some good rest. I will. Saray, I think it's time you got some sleep. I think so too. Looks like we've talked to everybody. And Zavid is just kind of butting his way into the party. <laughs> which seems to be about his... Uh... His general approach to everything, really, at this point. He just kind of... Shows up and causes a problem and does whatever he feels like. I guess the gun's gonna stop being a thing, because we used the last bullet, so he's gonna stop shooting, stop shooting himself in the head every time we see him. Morning, Saray. Did you sleep well? Yeah. You don't look like it. Yo, Saray! Oh, Zavid. You're still here. Ouch! Lila, is he always this cold? Well, it looks like everyone's here. Care to explain why you wish to enter the Sublord Pact? No problemo. My goal is directly connected to the Shepherd's Journey. Your goal? Oh yeah, you said there were people you had to settle the score with. Right, one of them being Little Miss Edna's older brother. And the other? Mautelis. Mautelis of the Five Lords? The entire Glenwood continent is supposed to be under his protection, right? Except our baby boy toddled off somewhere. And right at that exact time, the Lord of Calamity shows up. Isn't that funny? It can't be. I didn't think it could be either. At first. But if Maltellus really did become a Hellion and bind with Heldolf... We'll need to confirm that's what happened. And the only way to do that is to approach him directly. Maybe, but we need to be able to stand against Heldolf's domain, or we're sunk. And that's where I come in. If you'll let me fill the Dezel-shaped hole in your group, together we should be strong enough. How about it? It's in all our best interests, right? What do you believe we should do? Saray! No! Uh, what were we talking about again? Hey! Can I have the floor? Huh? Hey! I thought you had good to do in the world! Keep moping and crying, and I'll chain you up so tight you can't even breathe! That's what he said. Oh, and he asked me to kick your ass a little too while I was at it. And then I... <laughs> I told him... <laughs> I'd do my best out there. And so that's why... That's why I'm damn well gonna do my best out there! <laughs> why? Why am I crying like this? Rose... He was really, really glad he got to travel with all of you! And I... I didn't even notice! But in the end, he was smiling! If only... I talked with him more! <laughs> oh, forget it. I'm done. Thank you for delivering his message to us. He was a kind watchdog up until the very end. I 
she'll say. Guess she'll be okay from now on, huh, Rose? I'm okay. Are you okay? All right, let's go. Hold your horses. Don't I get a pack thingy? No. Oh. All righty. So, now what do we do? Just as planned. We're heading to Glavend Basin. Since it's the place where we first met Heldolf. Glavend Basin, huh? Here we go. Oh, they've actually added the hat to his icon. So he seems to be wearing it to commemorate Dezel. And Dezel himself wore it after his other mentor seemed to die. You said you'd fill in for Dezel, right? A man never goes back on his word. Well, unless it's with the ladies. But can you really do it? Oh, ho, ho. you doubt me, huh? Come on, you've seen what I can do. <sighs> yeah, but only because you practically forced it on us. I said I was sorry, jeez. We get how strong you are? But what about the spiritual power of wind? You don't have to go back and get it? Not to worry. The shepherd takes those spiritual powers into his being. So there's nothing to worry about. Especially not with an able and handsome wind seraph like me. All right, then. I won't let you down. I'll see to it you don't. I'm a little surprised. You're quite knowledgeable about spiritual powers and shepherds. <laughs> well, I am a well-experienced, grown-ass man, after all. You know you can always count on me. Somehow I'm not so sure that I can. <laughs> yeah, you sure dress like an adult. I know this is real sudden, but there's something I want to ask y'all so I can fit in a little better. Tell me your weaknesses. Why would we tell you something like that? Hey now, that's cold, Mick boy. I'll tell you mine to make it fair. On days when the temperature is low, I get cold. Yeah, because you don't wear any clothes. Oh, I see how it is. You want something juicier? Let me tell you something. If a girl starts crying, there's nothing I won't do for her. Didn't need to know that, thanks. You guys are tough customers. All right, try this one on for size. I'm strong against earth, but weak against fire. We knew that. That's no good either. Well, then here's a juicy tidbit that'll rock your world. As far as I can tell, from the waist up, Lila is... This isn't even about weaknesses anymore. Looks like you're fitting in just fine, I'd say. Hey, Zavid, I want to ask you about something you mentioned. Oh, hmm. Is this your response to my love confession? Don't try and weasel your way out of this. You said there was something you had to settle with my brother. That's all there is to it, really. There's just something between us we need to settle. And that something is? I told him, Please, let me marry your little sister! And he punched me. Don't lie. Oh, come on! He'd totally do something like that. Fine. Don't tell me, then. <laughs> no wonder he's worried about her all the time. So what's this really about? Did Edna's brother ask a favor from you or something like that? Hmm? Who wants to know? Does it have something to do with the oath? Nah, it's not that big of a deal. But even so, a promise between men is just as sacred. <sighs> it all might be too much for mere humans to bear. I shouldn't have taken them along. Oh, it's so useless to say that now. They could have stayed home in their rooms if they didn't want to deal with it. They went out of their own accord. Yeah. And I don't think either of them expect or want anyone to take responsibility for their being dragged into this. Both of them seem so used to living with the Seraphim. Wonder if they were always like this. Saray and I were raised together ever since we were just babies. There was a time when you were a baby? That's rude. My bad, my bad. I'm sure you were a sweet, well-behaved little guy back in your day. Too bad I'm not like that anymore, huh? You know, there's something I've been wondering. Yeah, what? You're an Earth Seraph, right? So why do you use an umbrella for a weapon? Isn't that more like a water element? I guess I can tell you. Ready to have your mind blown? I'm using it precisely because I'm an Earth Seraph. Huh? You know about the dominant relationships among the elements. Earth, water, fire, and wind, right? Earth is stronger than water. Meaning that especially when using Seraphic Arts, 
You can increase your mana output by using the subordinate element as a catalyst. What? Just to let you know, Lila has been using wind-imbued paper, and Dezel's pendulum has been using earthen minerals as their catalysts. The staff that you've been using is fundamentally an earth element. You'd have to be a complete idiot for using something like that as a water seraph. Is what I'd like to say, but I'll hold back. But you did just say it! Well, if you've been using it as a way to train yourself, or a way to incorporate physical attacks on top of seraphic arts, then you're not doing it completely wrong, at least. The longer you live, the easier it is for you to choose to do what takes the least amount of effort. But if you really aren't satisfied and want to grow stronger, then you're just going to have to do things the hard way if you want to go beyond whatever ability you were born with. Huh. Anyways, you've been using your staff without knowing what it's for. Good job, dummy. Ugh. So apparently... He's the only person in the party that's not using a weapon that specifically makes them more effective. Alright, so we're supposed to get back to... Uh, Glavid Basin, which I'm sure I can't teleport to. Alright, so we'll go the same way I did last time, which is through Volgren Forest. To the east. Yeah, exit leading the east basin. That sounds like the right spot. So, talking about Zavid's promise to... Are we there? Yeah, we're there. Cool. Talking to, about Zavid's promise to Edna's brother, it certainly sounds like Zavid made a promise specifically to protect Edna, and that's why he's so eager to be along, aside from having a similar uh, final villain sort of goal. There we go. Held off Lord of Calamity. It looks like he's just right outside over there. How polite of him to so mysteriously good. vanish for now so long. All right, soldiers. You gonna hell in at me? It looks like Heldolf wasn't in Glavend. Indeed. Were he near us, we'd surely have felt the strength of his domain. I guess we'll have to search somewhere else. But we'll need at least some clue as to where he is. Agreed. I hate wasting my time. Hiding such a large amount of malevolence shouldn't exactly be an easy task. Hmm. Malevolence, huh? I remember feeling an unusually strong level of malevolence before. When was that? Right after we fought earlier. It was when we were heading back to Pendrago from the Guinevere Shrine. So, maybe southwest of Pendrago? Alright, let's check it out. You guys really gonna go on such a shot in the dark? Sounds like it's worth a look. We've got nothing to lose. If this ends up being a waste of time, I swear I'll stab you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll keep that in mind. Interesting. Southwest of Pendrago is actually the exact part of Pendrago, the area outside of Pendrago we haven't really visited because all the locations for the story were to the north. Huh. Given the conditions, the battle shouldn't have been severe enough to, pro to provoke this level of carnage. What the heck happened out here in just two days? Maybe they're telling the truth after all. All the evidence pointly, uh, uh, points clearly to friendly fire. This place is still a mess, huh? But yeah, in Pendra the area outside of Pendrago, I think it's the the hunting area, I believe it's called. It has a more specific name than that. Uh, I believe that whole area had uh, dungeons all along the east side and the north... Uh, no, sorry, the west side and the north side. And Pendrago's in the southeast. But the southwest was just kind of empty field that I don't think I even walked up to. So strong! Oh yeah. Heldolf is here. There's no mistaking it. Oh. The final showdown, huh? Looks like I warped in right next to him, actually, by the Earth Shrine. Heldolf! Whoa, okay, yeah, he's freaky strong. This won't go like last time! I certainly hope that it won't. What do you mean? Do you think it's coincidence that you've encountered Hellion's domains at every turn? So what? This was all you're doing? Is that what you want to say? Is this your idea of being merciful? You know, he used to be a general. There's no telling what he's really plotting. Is he trying to negotiate? Be on your guard, Saray. Yeah, he's capable of anything. So, how are we supposed to find out if this guy really did bind with Maltellus? We'll just have to fight him head on. You got a death wish? If not that, then what? Tell me something, Heldolf. Are you... 
<laughs> What's so damn funny? You talk far too much. <sighs> I am the Lord of Calamity, and thou art the Shepherd. The meeting of the two is by definition conflict. Do you not agree? Saray! <sighs> Here he comes, everyone! Go on, Shepard. Show me what a vessel you are. I won't be pushed over that easily. Back off. Abandon your doubts for the season. Here he comes. So. Oh, weakness to Earth. Okay. I can do something with that. We're definitely outclassed, but... We got this. I need a hand. Let's make a mess. Dodge out of the way. There we go. Oh, he's taking damage fast. Oh, that'll put a hole in him. Shit. Oh, it's over. <laughs> you like that? Are you happy? Huh? Keep fighting like this and you'll strike me down. Can't you feel it? Is that not what you truly wish inside? Wha what are you saying? You yearn for it. You crave it. <laughs> Would you drown in this fountain of ecstasy you have created? Lila, it's time to settle this! What's wrong? Saray, if you finish this here, can you be absolutely sure you will not regret it later? That's right. Did we really come all this way just to smack old Kitty Beard around? Or was there something else? As you know, to quell the Lord of Calamity is the duty of the Shepherd. That is not incorrect. Is he challenging us? Do it if we can? No. The bastard's up to something. Samo! He wants to make you a Hellion, probably. Yes. Dispose of them. An illusory art! Look out, everyone! You're too late! <laughs> my, my. You're finally putting some effort into it. How long do you think your malevolence can isolate him? For one of his strength, probably only about ten minutes. I apologize. Hmm, it will do. What have you done, Helldolf? Get ready! Okay, I thought it was weird that we seemed to have taken him out just like that. Oh, he's only down to 40k, so he's got 40,000 hit points left, and I have no party members. Worrying? Uh, our best chance is probably to armatize. Nope. I'm not doing much damage to him. Oh, maybe I'm just supposed to not get killed? Don't tell me the tables have turned. I mean, it's pretty much the table definition of having the tables turn if you flat out take my party members away. The was close, yet now only anxiety and impending doom! Saray! Don't let your emotions waver! He's... Lila! Still you interfere? Lord of fire! Crimson flame! May it burn your soul! He absolutely wants to turn me into a Hellion through doubt and stuff. And strife and so on. He's very dodgeable, though. I'm sure he's probably pretty strong if he hits you. It's pretty easy to not have that happen. Destruction! Oh! That missed me, Oma! Lila, Heldolf is trying to manipulate me while I'm still missing the full picture. Is that what you're trying to say? 
At this rate, he's just going to keep needling me. I'm a plaything to him! Saray, I understand! You've got to help every- You're not getting away! Shatterfang! We need party members pretty badly. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Ow. We just have to find a weak point! Nothing's changed at the moment. He has reduced defense, though. Oh, that is way more damage being taken. Nice try, buddy. Strong combo, at least. Thankfully, guarding builds up more guard for me. Let's knock him back with a hidden art! More BG, I mean. Did I already use a hidden art? Or am I missing up, mixing up their names again? There we go. I mean, I'm, tech I'm doing damage to him. I could, I could probably beat him this way. Wait, he's only down 4,000 hit points? I feel like I've done way more than that. That doesn't seem accurate, actually. Maybe he's healing between phases. That's like eight good hits, and I've definitely hit him more times than that with these types of attacks. Hello. Oh, that took damage. There we go. Nice try, buddy. Oop. I'm dodging too early. It's a successful dodge, but I don't I don't get the uh, bonus SC. That was the wrong attack. I was trying to do the, uh, my mystic art. Oops. Oh. Alright. Oh. That's not good. At all. Oh, I'm slowed. Oh, no. Saray! Do not resist. No! I will never give up! Do you not realize how warped it is to struggle so? What? Simone, release the squire. At once. What on? Prepare to see just what your resistance has earned you, Shepard. No! <laughs> and that was his fatal mistake, wasn't it, Lila? <sighs> Beth Miss Mioma! Resist this, dumbass! Do you really plan to slay her, a seraph? Killing is my business. Or did you forget? Simone. Very well, as you wish. What? Rose! <laughs> Toying with you has lost its charm. Shepard Saray, work under me. Should we not bring this world back to the way it was, together? What? Walking a path alongside the Lord of Calamity can only lead to malevolence. Surely you- And what is so strange about that? Malevolence will always be with us. It can only be dispelled by the scant few who hold the power of purification. Are you saying that's the way things should be? Hellions only bring pain to humans and seraphim alike. And so it is therefore natural to resist malevolence? Absurd. Shepard Saray, I repeat once more, 
join me. For too long have the Seraphim been forced to fight the Malevolence. Too long have they been chained, toiling away at their blessings. Let us restore them to their rightful form as Hellions. I refuse. Then let us finish our battle once and for all. I refuse that as well. This is not the time. So you say. But one day you will discover it for yourself, the true nature of humans and Seraphim in this world. We totally could have beat him though, he wasn't actually that no tough. No mistake. That bearded menace is connected to Maltellus. When we were trapped by his malevolence, I felt a presence. But there wasn't even a trace of Maltellus back then. Think about it. What if you were convinced you couldn't see something, but it was right under your nose? It's something we see all the time and yet never notice. This? The ground? You mean the Hellion could be using the continent of Glenwood itself as a vessel? Right. There's only one guy out there who'd be capable of pulling it off. But if that's the case... Even if all this is true, is it possible to purify the land itself? If Heldalf were the vessel, it would make a lot more sense. But if the Earth is the vessel, why would Maltellus also be connected to Heldalf? Let's find Maltellus. If it's true that Heldalf is connected to Maltellus, who's become a Hellion using the Earth as a vessel, then so long as we don't purify Maltellus, we'll never be able to quell Heldalf. But even with all the legends of Maltellus we've collected, there hasn't been a single clue as to his whereabouts. We should search for Maven. Old Man Maven? That's right. He was journeying to study the legends surrounding Maltellus as well. We don't have a clue, but he just might. Yeah, but how are we supposed to find him? I have an inkling. Let's go meet with the ones who protect the Ruin of Logren and see what they think. Logren? That's the Ruin in Zephgot Moor, right? Yes. Then it's been decided. Let's get packing, Mebo. All right, all right. Just stop that. Hey, are you okay with this? I trust him, though it is a gamble. Whoa! Surprise enemies! <laughs> They're everywhere. No! I've been busy, leave me alone. Maven. It always comes back to Maven. I just found that guy a moment ago. Alright guys, so it looks like next episode... We're going to be going right back to... How do I get there? How do I get... There was a bridge. Great Car oh, Great Camelot Bridge counts as a dungeon. Interesting. Alright. So we'll be going back to... Great Camelot Bridge and seeing what's beyond it. Because they said that the... I can sense it. Yep. Oh yeah, this is back to this topic of this Norman I couldn't find. But the, uh... They said when we were at this bridge that just beyond this is his location. I think they were talking about a giant elephant, too. But that's all related to where we were trying to go for the quest. I, I don't know where this guy is. And, and we, it was a few episodes ago when we first came here, too. So some, someone might have left a comment by now. But I do not know where this Norman is. And it's weirding me out a little bit. But thanks for watching, like always. I'll see you next time. Where we're going to see what's past this bridge. I think we're two-thirds of the way through this game. This game seems oddly like it has very specific dividing points in its, in its storyline for progress forward. The first one was the big war, where we transitioned from Layla to, no, not, not Layla, I, uh, Alicia to Rose, and I think now we're in the final third where we transition from uh, Dazzled to Zavid and go across this bridge. That's my vague theory though. But I'll see you guys next time.